What's up guys, so, um, I paused the video for like 20 minutes, cause I was like debating on which teams to go with for, um, Last Battlefield, and I think I have like an idea of what I wanna do, maybe I'll change it throughout the week, this week is like an experimentation week, because so many changes happened since I made that, uh, purchase. <laughs> And I'm not sure, like, this week what I'm going to be doing. Like, I just want to test out a few things that I want to do. And then next week, I'm going to have a better idea of what I'm doing. But, uh, Survival, Life Drain, Dove Keeper, Walla Walla with Sacred Light, uh, and Power. I took a few heroes up to skill on um, 10 from the essences, Vital Boon, Sasquatch, Anubis, I gave him the Empower 8 since I don't have Revitalize, I forgot that I gave it to um, Minotaur, so I'll just put it back right here, and I, I want to see a few things like what I'm going to be doing, maybe make a few changes, like I'm debating on on that, like Mahatma, Life Drain 8, Skill 10, Gunslinger, Flame Guard 8, like these are not final changes and I'm actually, I don't use her on defense anymore so I'll see who needs like a better insignia and then I'll place it on them. Like if you see it took Siren up to 10, uh, Skull Knight I took up to 10 and I gave him Side Shield 8 since I had an extra one and it increases his HP and gives him an immunity. I would like a Revitalize for him. So maybe if I get a Revitalize 5 or something in the future, I might put it on him and see if he's like good, decent because like I really want to get a Brawler's favor for him but... And then Dredrick I took up to 10 with the War God. And I believe he has a brute force. Like that might be good, but then again, like I'm not sure like if I'm gonna use him either. So I don't know if Stone Skin Seven or Sacred Light Six is better, but I'm gonna go with Sacred Light for now. And I gave her brute force just for the extra attack. I'm gonna give him the brute force since I'm gonna be using him, just so he can hit a little bit harder. And he has a side shield just to block something. I'm gonna be using him and I'm gonna leave the sacred light since I think it's better. And I took him up to skill 10. And I took her up to skill 10. I was debating on using her, but I don't know like what insignia would be good for her. She has a built in war god. If I had a revitalize, I would use her, but like. Because I think she packs like a lot of damage from her proc. But she needs to proc. And she doesn't have fast energy. So that's why I didn't use her. I took up Ares to level 10. And he has Iron Well. I didn't do anything. I took up my Heartbreaker to level 10. And I'm using her Scatter. Though I have a Bulwark. But I'm going to go more with like a Scatter strategy for her team. And also have Scatter for Gunslinger, which I'm going to be using as like an energy reduction team. I also have um, Grim Fiend, but I'm not going to be using him because he dies super fast. Like, even though he has like fast energy recovery, I don't know if I can fit him into the team because he's just too risky though. Um... Let me know if I should use him though. Like I could skill him up and use up my remaining like essences, but I wanna save them in case I get like a boogeyman. If I get a boogeyman, I like, I would just increase him up automatically, like and I'm also debating on increasing um Beast Tamer to ten. And I'm using Serena. I'm gonna slowly get her revive up to nine. But for now, I'm gonna use my fame to double evolve my Rowdy Rascals so I can use them sometime next week. And I took up Rowdy Rascals up from like I forgot what was his skill, I think it was skill 8, and I took him up to 10. 
and I took three entire up to ten as well. And the last hero that I was debating on upgrading was Artica and Creation, but Artica mostly because of the scatter. And I can use her in the Warden Challenge, but with the Warden Challenge, after like a certain day, it's a like you're not even gonna be able to do much. So I'm just gonna review my insignias again in case like there's something there's a hero that I'm using that doesn't have one I just want to double check I think that's all of them a gunslinger rhino nick and I believe that's everybody know the pets I'm gonna see if I can get some pets on Nick and Rhino so I'm not using him so I'll give him to Rhino and I'm not using him so I'll put him on Anubis another pet and I also scaled up every single one of my pets up to max skill level as high as I could take it so that's something this is a good pet to have so I'm gonna see who needs a pet and I think Nick needs one but this is more for like a tank hero I think tanky hero so I'll give it to Sasquatch so he can freeze and and that one is also more of a tanky so I'll give it to I want to keep her with that since she's not gonna die a lot I'll give her um, to Nick and there's like one hero that's missing that I'm not seeing for the fish I'm not sure who I'm not using. Let me see my teams again because I'm not remembering. So, Nick. That team all has pets. Michael. So, I believe everybody has a pet, but. I'll give it to Ghulam since it's since he's a healer and but if he dies though since he's on the front line that's kind of risky. Though if he dies, We'll just see. Well, this is an experimentation week anyway, so let's just see how it goes. Alright, I really wanted to attack this Anubis, but he has 867. I'm just gonna refresh. Um, 916. I finished at 925, so he could have a similar, similar team to mine. And I just wanna... I don't really care if I lose this week, I just wanna experiment. And we're already at 9 minutes, so let's just jump into this last battlefield. I'll start off with Storm Eater since Nick will proc, and then Storm Eater will proc. And let's just go in order, right, to see what, if my teams are pretty good or not. He has, um, this is his Dovekeeper team. 
and he has an Athena, I think. The Athena had revitalized, so. His team beat me. And his Michael had revive. But this was his Dove Keeper team. If he's like paid to win, yeah, he has a. So his Avanica team might be last. He has a Skeletic on this team. So his. Um, Lavanica team might be last if he has a Vanica. If we can make it to it, it doesn't look good. Yeah, we lost. This team we might be able to be. I'll go like this just so we can see the Medusa team. Golem died. And he didn't proc. Yeah, so this... This might be a bad week for us then. This guy, he has a pumpkin look on this team. This team might be better than I initially thought. But we're not gonna beat this team. I'm just gonna end it. <clears throat> I was actually hoping to do better than this, but we're just gonna refresh it. And I'll attack this Anubis right here, and I'll use this team, and then this team. Like, I feel Rhino is a pretty, he's still a decent hero, I don't know why, I feel, like, I face a couple of teams that use him, and, like, if he lives, like, this team is missing a tank desperately, that's what I'm noticing, because if they're getting to Mahatma, and she, Mahatma's getting stunned, then that can't be good, so that means Mahatma's team needs a stunner. Like, I went, I had 79 points in the first week last week, and I got to 925. This is just, um, experimentation. So it looks like we're gonna win this team. Okay, so. Mama, we need a better tank. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Anubis there and Little Nick is not a good hero anymore. And I'm gonna go with Skull Knight. Skull Knight has a revive. He has a revive built in. And he has life drain plus the Psy Shield. So we're just gonna see how it goes. I'll just give him this right here. And should it go against the Serena team? It'll be interesting to see that. And then this. No, I'm gonna go with Tough Keeper so we can see that. So we got silenced. But this team is this team is surprisingly good. And I believe I'm not hundred percent sure. But I think that Um Rhino reduces energy as well. That's why I was thinking that he could fit into that team. If you notice his skill Transform into a Rhino will transform, blah blah blah, has 50% chance to reduce 50 energy from each hero, enemy hero who has hit for 3 seconds. Yeah, he reduces energy as well, that's why I feel like he's a good, a good hero as well for this team. I'll just go up against this Ares right here. And then against Ares, I'll use my energy reduction team. And if you remember, I'm using Gunslinger Scatter, Heartbreaker Scatter. Medusa has Revive, Revive 8. And 
Serena to revive and the Ragnar right there. And for this one, we're gonna go with Storm Eater Seam. I think we're gonna lose this one. But we get, yeah, we lost. I could see him. He, oh, and then not uh, Lavanica, so yeah. I, I, I highly doubt we'll be able to beat the team. Yep. So we did better than last week's first day. And I actually wanted to get to, uh, to get to 5,000 fame, but it's alright. I honestly think that small change of taking out Nick, I honestly was debating it a lot whether to use him or not, because <clears throat> Nick doesn't do that much damage anymore, and... All he's useful is freeze. So I now have a brute force insignia that I can use for somebody. But honestly, I don't know who I would even give it to. Like, Skull Knight, I gave the side shield. And he has a life drain. And that's pretty, like, decent for him. If he can stay alive, but he gets one shot, that's why I would like a revitalize. Like, I'm missing so much revitalize on my account. And then there's this team, which I think it's good, but we need like Gulen to proc. If he can proc and stay alive, like I'm gonna try that. Going with Sasquatch in front, like if. Sasquatch can stay alive and freeze even for a second then my Ghulam can proc and that'll just keep the whole team alive and then this team really surprised me this team was the best out of the bunch I honestly was surprised like if we had some form of stun on this team it would be much better like an initial stunner like if I put um Storm Eater on this team, I think it could be better. But then that would change this whole dynamic on this team. So I don't know. Let me know if I should put Storm Eater. Maybe change out Serena and put in Storm Eater. Like I think that could be a, a good change. But then this team would be like... It would have two buffers, and I don't know. Like, this team would have to be remade. This team is honestly, like, the most inconsistent team, in my opinion. This team has the potential to be a really good team. Like, if I set it up, how I used to have my... My other team, my Dovekeeper team in the past. I have Dovekeeper in the back. And then Michael to tank, and then Sasquatch in the middle. I'll try that. I used to have a lot of success running Michael to tank because his guardian angel just tanks everything. And I think, I'm not sure if like Michael being in the front or the back, I mean Aries being in the front or the back. I'll try him in the front because he really needs to get his proc off. But I'll try it like this for now, see if that makes a difference. And yeah, I'll see. I'll see if um that works for this week. And then going into next week, then we'll we'll see if I use um Roddy Rascals or not. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll probably try the this warden challenge. I have an idea what to do, but honestly, like, it doesn't matter. I mean, after, even if I beat this level 20, the next one is going to be even harder. And I'm probably not going to be able to beat it. So, yeah. Peace out.